magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Ang inyong guru ay nagbabalik para sa isa na namang panibagong lesson. Bago tayo magpatuloy, please do subscribe and click the notification bell for updates. Ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay tungkol sa Kite Properties and its Applications. Let's first define Kite. A kite is a quadrilateral with exactly two pairs of consecutive sides congruent. So, if this is our kite, ayan, side AB is congruent to side AD, and side BC is congruent to side DC. Let's proceed to the properties of a kite. Number one, the diagonals are perpendicular. Ang diagonals natin dito are diagonal AC and diagonal BD. This one. From this point to this point and from point B to point D. And AC is perpendicular to BD, meaning their intersection will create a 90 degree angle in here. Saan na yun? Dito. So, ito, it is a 90 degree angle. Same dito, 90 degrees din yan. Dito, 90 degrees and another 90 degrees here. Next, number 2. Exactly one pair of opposite angles are congruent. Not unlike in the parallelogram na dalawang pairs ang congruent angles natin. Sa kite, iisang pares lang. So, if this is our kite, ang congruent angles natin ay angle B and angle C. Therefore, the measure of angle B is equal to the measure of angle C. Then number 3, a diagonal bisects each of the non-congruent angles and the other diagonal. If this is our kite, diagonal Ang non-congruent angles natin ay angle A at saka si angle C. Then, diagonal AC bisects angle A and angle C. Also, AC or diagonal AC bisects diagonal BD. So, it will divide BD into two equal parts and it will also divide angle A and angle C into two equal parts. Next, we also have the area of a kite. How do we get the area of a kite? It is equal to one half the product of the di two diagonals. A is equal to one half d sub 1 times d sub 2. So, ang diagonals natin dito is AC and uh, DB or BD. So, area is equal to one half and then, the product of AC and BD. Example, given this kite, identify the following. Letter A, pairs of congruent sides. So, meron tayong dalawang pairs. What are they? Side BC and side DC are congruent. And side AB and side AD are congruent. Then, we also have the diagonals. We have two diagonals. Diagonal AC and diagonal BD. Next, we have the pair of congruent angles. So, isang pares lang yan. Angle B and angle D. And then, the non-congruent angles. We have angle A and angle C. Next, letter E. If BD is equal to 10, BE is blank. So, ang gag uh, alam natin na uh, AC, diagonal AC bisects diagonal BD. Therefore, uh, we will just divide the measure of BD to get the measure of BE. So, 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. Then, letter F. If BCD, this one, BCD is equal to 88 degrees, then BCE is what? BCE, this one. Again, we will apply the dia uh, diagonal property wherein it will divide or it will bisect the non-congruent angles of the uh, kite. 
So, the diagonal AC bisects angle BCD. Therefore, the measure of angle BCE is equal to 88 divided by 2. So, 88 divided by 2 is equal to 44. Next, letter G. Give the measure of angle DEC. Where is that? This one, DEC. Again, diagonals of the kite are perpendicular. So, meaning angle DEC is equal to 90 degrees. Another example, if you have this kite, ABCD is a kite, find angle B and angle C. Given na si angle D and angle A. Uunahin natin kukunin si angle B since alam na natin na angle D is congruent to angle B. Therefore, angle B is equal to 146 degrees. Now, for the measure of angle A or angle C, I mean, um, alam natin na yung uh, sum ng interior angles ng isang uh, quadrilateral ay equal to 360 so, i-add lang na natin lahat ito. So, angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D is equal to 360. Then, substitute natin yung given values. Angle A is 47 degrees. Angle B is 146 degrees. Plus angle C, which is uh, unknown. And angle D, which is 146 degrees. Then, equal to 360. Now, simplify. Ayan, angle C is equal to 21 degrees. Next example. Given WO, 6 inches, ZY is 9 inches, and angle Z is 46 degrees. Find letter A, Y, or WY, this one. WY. Again, ZY bisects WY. And WO is equal to 6 inches. Therefore, we will just multiply 6 inches into 2 to get WY. So, 6 times 2 is equal to 12. Next, letter B, ZW. Applying again the property of a kite. ZY is uh, congruent to ZW. So, if ZY is 9 inches, then ZW is equal to 9 inches. Then letter C, angle W, Z, O. Remember, given na ang value ni angle Z, ito, which is 46 degrees. Ngayon, i-divide lang natin yun into 2 kasi nga ZX or diagonal ZX bisects angle W, Z, Y, which is 46 degrees. So, 46 divided by 2 is equal to 23 so, ang measure ni WZO, angle WZO is equal to 20, 23 degrees. And then next, for the measure of angle WOX, since diagonals are perpendicular, WOX or angle WOX is equal to 90 degrees. Next example. A, B, C, D is a kite. Find the measure of angle A, measure of angle C, measure of angle D. Again, given ang angle B, 125 degrees, angle A is X plus 30 degrees, and angle D is X degrees. Anong uunahin natin dito? Mas madaling unahin or kunin yung value ni angle C. Kasi equal siya kay angle B. So, angle C is equal to 125 degrees. Next, we will get the value of angle D, this one. Paano? I-add lang natin lahat yung interior angles ni kite and then equate it to 360. So, substitute. Angle A is equal to X plus 30. Angle B is 125. Angle C is 135, uh, 25, and angle D is X equals to 360. Combining like terms, X plus X is equal to 2X, and then it transpose natin yung sum nito sa right side ng equation, kaya naging minus 280 na yan. Simplify, 2X is equal to 80, 
Para makuha yung value ni x, kailangan nating i-divide yung both sides ng equation into 2. So, 2 divided by 2, magka-cancel na yan. 80 divided by 2 is equal to 40. Therefore, the measure of angle D is equal to 40 degrees. And then last, for the measure of angle A, isa substitute lang natin yung nakuha nating value ni x dito sa given value ni angle A. Substitute, x plus 30, palitan natin si x ng 40. Ayan, 40 plus 3, the measure of angle A is now equal to 70 degrees. Next, find the area of kite BCDE given diagonal BD is equal to 8 yards and diagonal CE is equal to 12 yards. Find the area. Using the formula of area of a kite, wherein A is equal to 1 half times the product of the two diagonals, substitute natin, 1 half times diagonal 1 is equal to 1. 8 or diagonal 1 is equal to 8 yards and diagonal 2 is equal to 12 yards. So multiply 1 half times 96 yards squared. And then what is 1 half of 96? It is 48 yards. So the final answer here or the area of a kite here is 48 yards squared. That's all for our lesson about kite. So, I hope meron kayong natutunan kahit konti sa lesson natin ngayon. Thank you for listening and watching this video until the end. Till the next video and uh, stay safe and uh, God bless everyone. Bye-bye!